Yeah, hello everybody and welcome back. And we'll be continuing with our previous classes. And on the previous class, what we have done is we have uh, gone and created a form with a form template. And you now we have created a simple list form. And today we'll be going and creating another form uh, through a form template. So as I told you before, that form template is a uh, easier and uh, more faster way to create your own uh, form for your design. But uh, if you like to create uh, uh, from uh, from scratch, uh, you can still go and use and create uh, this uh, new form, and uh, you can add in your own uh, control and play with around it. But for development or uh, for actual environment, what we just go and use a uh, form through a template, so it uh, reduces our our development time. So let's just go and uh, add a, our new form through our template. It's a new form and from template, and we'll be using today a simple list today. Okay. Okay, we have a new form over here now. Okay, so let's rename our form. This would be product simple list and details, right? Let's save it. And don't forget to add your data source. Uh, we don't have any data source. We will just drag and drop your product table to your data source and save it okay. Okay, now um, let's put our design and in the design you can see you have a some tab already uh, paste title group and uh, custom field group uh, what we are interested now is in a group body uh, in the body part so we have a, a grid container and the grid container what we will do is we will add a we will add our field uh, from our uh, data source or uh, let me add in two field first our grid field okay and let's just check our grid view data source so make sure you don't forget it uh, to add your data source. It's an our product. Save it. Okay. Okay, and let's open our form. Okay, so we have our first grid with the two column. And this is our splitter, okay. And we have a action tab, and we already uh, we included two command button, which is new and delete, right? So let's go and add in our more field to this uh, form template. Grid, we already added two field, and two fields we have already added to our grid. And this this is our splitter as uh, mentioned before. This is a splitter, right? Splitter. And inside there is a detail container. Right? In the detail container, we have a header and detail tab. In the header header detail uh, detail header, let me add a two more tab uh, field which is barcode okay. mm. barcode and also we add our status uh, okay so we add two field over here and just rename this caption as a product and error, right? We 
add this one as a product header and save it and we we'll open our form okay so we have a header now and our we have to fill product uh, barcode and uh, active product let's go and add other field into our Later we don't need it and the chicken container we have already added group header and the group detail line in the tab page so we will add our more field which is page price and created date and time and so we will add here created date and also created time and the product status what we will do and drag and drop to this field this uh, header group save all and restore this form and open it here so we have already created a so when actually when you want to design uh, this form it uh, take a lot of time for you right you have to add a grid splitter and uh, action tab and, and all the things I may take a lot of time for you to design this form but when we use a template it's uh, uh, just a few minutes we, we can already uh, uh, our form is ready to use already right so that's the benefit of using a form template so we have already added a uh, our grid and our uh, header and this is our detail tab right so we have already added this and this is our sweater and what we can add more is um, let's, let's go and see some more designing over properties and this is great as a detail caption and The field we have, we have to add in with container splitter, and we have a tab page, right? Tab page caption we we'll add a let say. Save it and open it. So here is our product group. Okay, so product group. Nice. So price, price, let's keep them 20, 20. And let's just save it. We have already added for this and it's a tab, detail tab and a product header and the header we will add is as a header view. Okay, so we have already added our field. Okay, so now what we are going to do is uh, design our grid and some add some more function to our grid. And let's go and see what we can add over here is multi select. We can give us yes, and what it can do for us is uh, you can select. 
uh, multi edit but our edit is disabled right and so let's just go and uh, select allow edit to yes okay so save it and open it so now you can edit the field on the grid right and so we will go and change this to uh, leave it as elevated and let's just go and add uh, one more tab one more uh, tab over here uh, here right uh, we have a product group and let's add another tab page and move it down and yes so we call as a time well, let's just call it time for time b and i think it should be okay and for time i will move this uh, two field of time to down to my uh time is tab and just save it so we have another that way we have a uh, uh, set our two fifties which is uh, created date and created date and time. So we have a two tab now, tab page, uh, right? And this is our head of it. So when you select this field, it will automatically link to our other detail area. And if you create a new one our button is working right and this is a big mango and product status on and barcode list is give uh, random active and price is just one and create a time first I select today and let's just copy this date over here right? and just save it okay so now we have a create the record and you can also delete it right and let's just save it yes uh, you can do it so uh, our form is uh, completely up and running so we do not have to add any, any detail or any uh, command or any coding or any designing on it it was a pre-built form that we use it so hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching